There we go. Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is time to start episode one of season three. So just a little bit of, a little bit of, um, heads up probably isn't the word I'm looking for. Um, just to kind of recap how this series works. The live streams that I do every Thursday, starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Those live streams are me recording the next six episodes that are going to publish up on YouTube. So in other words, I'm going to be doing my intro and outro a few times on the live stream, and that way we'll end up with six episodes that'll roll out over the course of the week on YouTube. So if you're watching live, you get to know the future. If you're watching later on YouTube, then uh, episodes will roll out for six days out of the week. And on the seventh day, I stream again. So, um, if you're watching later on YouTube and you want to uh, see how things go, if you want to interact via chat, which you should see, I rearranged the layout a little bit so the chat should pop up above my head. Uh, we'll see how that works as things go. And um, yeah, so that that is pretty much, uh, that that is the basics of how all this is gonna go. We'll see how it ends up working in, in practice, uh, it worked out pretty well with Chrono Trigger. Things are going to be a little bit different given that we're uh, we're now on a proper PC game. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Speaking of proper PC games, right up until COVID hit, uh, I was expecting to be in the midst of a career transition. So I wanted a game that was true to the spirit of the series, a classic game, you know, that... Uh, much beloved, not necessarily new. If you've never played it, it's worth at least watching, if not actually playing through. And uh, and so I was going to do Portal, because the nice thing about Portal is it's a puzzle game. So there's no levels, there's no grinding between episodes, There, there's... Um, it doesn't require much in the way of research of looking too far ahead at, uh, you know, oh no, there's a boss coming up. That means I need to have at least uh, spell level such and such. And if I have, you know, none of that, it, it was just going to be a really simple fire it up on Thursday, stream out six episodes and then uh, chop it up, upload it to YouTube and roll on with life. So that's enough about the, the technical end of things. What about Portal itself? Uh, Portal is a game by Valve. It is set in the Half-Life universe. And you'll see little hints of that here and there through Portal 1. And because how short Portal 1 is, Season 3 is going to be a, a mash of both uh, Season 1 and Season 2. So we're going to go... Uh, season 1 Season 2. <laughs> Sorry. Th this is going to be a mash of both Portal and Portal 2. Because uh, the, the, the content in Portal is kind of short. That was one of the criticisms at the time. It's one of the criticisms that still kind kind of holds. But uh, it's a really cool puzzle game with some very sarcastic and very twisted developers, which is part of why I like it so much. Most likely. Um, okay. So that all said and done. Um, oh, yeah. I almost forgot. The game came out back in... May of 2010. No, sorry, 2000, October 2007. The Mac edition came out later in 2010. Uh, so the game's been around a little while. You know, I really wanted to say, oh man, 2007? That wasn't that long ago. That's 13 years ago. Portal is a teenager. I, I really didn't want to think about that part of it. Portal's a teenager. Okay. All right. Uh, that, that's enough of the intros. We'll, we'll talk about some of the other things as they, as they come up in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start a new game. Uh, I have played this before. I've played through this more than a few times. Uh, so let's go ahead and start an actual like brandy, brandy new game. Hey, we got our jamming little radio. And a countdown timer of some sorts. All right, so you are Chell, a test subject that wakes up. As you see here, you get your little introduction, you know, forward, back, left, right, look around. Uh, you can have limited interactions. Oop. 
Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. <laughs> the relaxation vault. Hmm. <laughs> Fun and learning, you say, huh? That's not a good sign. Ah, okay. So we're gonna that that computer voice is Glados or Glados, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And uh, we will uh, we'll we'll hear more about that later. Um, we'll get a better sense of who she is as we go. You are Chell. Matter of fact, the nice thing is is you can. <laughs> Look through the portal at yourself. That's you. And those little uh, funky shoe thingies hanging attached to your legs are springs. So that way you will not die from falling so long as you land on your feet. There are plenty of other ways to die. So, yeah, don't worry too hard about that. You have limited interaction with the world. You can pick stuff up and carry it around. You can do all sorts of hilarious things. Um... One of the things that I didn't realize. What's that? Okay. So we'll have to. Oh, there's the cake. And if you've ever wondered where that cake is a lie meme came from, this is it. All right. Um, one of the things that I didn't realize is there's a little more to these radios than just a jazzy little tune that you'll pick up as we go. And um, I may turn the music down a little bit later. Um, there is a special achievement in Steam if you can find all the secret places that have Morse code. So we're in test chamber 00 of uh, 19. These little blocks will give you hints as to some of the things that you'll need to worry about. Like there's a companion cube that's going to fall and watch out for stuff hitting you in the head. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to some of those others as we go. Those security cameras are constantly watching you. There is an achievement for knocking off, uh, I want to say it's 33 of them. I'll have to, I'll have to look and double check. But uh, these guys, oh. there we go. Achievement progress, transmission received. Oh, <laughs> my camera's covering the pop-up toast that lets you know that uh yeah so uh one of the nice things about this particular achievement is it is cumulative over the uh over the number of times you've played so i've obviously found two of those already since it's giving me three of 26 which is good to know we got these guys our little companion cubes the, the first couple levels are going to be basic tutorial stuff they're going to introduce us to the concepts of the game very slowly because it is maybe a little too slowly in some respects but uh it is to get us familiar with how things work that you put weighted things on the buttons material emancipation grid <laughs> so uh any item you take with you is going to get vaporized in the material emancipation grid uh matter of fact before i go too much further let me go back to uh the sound because that was well, a little bit louder than I thought. Let's uh, bump that down a little bit. Let's bump that down just a smidge. All right, let's try that. All right, so items like that can't go through the grid. You can, and then you'll head off on to the next level once you finish entering the elevator. Uh, the other thing that I probably ought to do is get some background music like I do on Coffee Craft. Um, won't happen today, but I, I will try to make that happen next week. Um, oh, here we are. So now we're in 
Chamber 1 of 19. And I hear the radio somewhere. Ah, gotcha. All right, so we're going to have to do something with him. Oh, there we go. There's my little bit of Morse code. So there's my next radio done. I gotta wait for my portal to reappear. Someday my portal will come. Because what I'm waiting for is for the portal to appear. Oh, there. And then there. Uh, I do love the pseudoscientific sarcasm there. Uh, his effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of the test. Nice. And there we go. So again, we're, we're getting a sense of movement in the game of Portal. You have those two portals, a red one and an orange, or a blue one and an orange one. And where you pop in one, you come out the other. And we're going to learn more about the portal as we go through these introductory ways, uh, these introductory levels. So we just got used to the concept of picking up stuff and putting it down. Then we got used to the idea that there's... Oh. Hmm. In semi-rare cases. <laughs> I do wish there was a way to change the uh, the color and contrast of the, the little text down at the bottom there. So that way, just in case you don't hear it, you, you can still see it. But again, we're on chamber 2 of 19. We're still getting introduced to different game features. So we picked up and put stuff down. Then we found out that there are portals. You go through one, you come out the other, and they are movable within the game environment. And now we're about to get the first half of our portal gun. So now, safe <laughs> all right so there that is uh i don't know if you noticed but i knocked down that security camera there, there actually is an achievement to uh, knock down all the security cameras that you can. Um, first things first. I need this guy. Ooh. Oh, I already got him. And I want to say that there's one more uh, security camera that I'm missing in here. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'll destroy all the cameras because I want the achievement. All right, and so you'll find little offices like that. Eventually, we'll actually get a chance to go through some of them. And this is, and again, uh, as you can tell, as I forewarned, this is not a speed run. This is more to get a familiarity with the game and enjoy the environment a little bit. We're not going to dawdle. We're not going to spend all time just staring at each and every little, little rose and flower along the way. But uh, we are going to 
take some time, have some fun. Enjoy the game a little bit. Uh, it is a very immersive environment, and it's fun. Especially listening to some of the stuff that Gladys has to say. Alright. Mind the gap. So now we're in chamber 3 of 19. Yep. No. Uh, the other nice thing is that you'll get this, uh, you can oh, <laughs> do all sorts of things that will affect. <laughs> oh yeah, you can have all sorts of fun with that. Okay, so we got those two cameras and then we got that guy. Now I'm trying to remember. Uh, <laughs> is that why I'm here? Because somebody decided to bring your daughter to work? All right, what I don't remember is where the radio signal for this guy was. Oh, that static means that we're somewhere near Fine. Almost. Oh, there we go. Transmission received. Five of 26. Sweet. All right. Let's get out of here now that we found our radio transmission. We knocked out the cameras. And we'll make our way through the door. Loading, please wait. Yeah, so you, you get through these early levels pretty quick. Because again, it, it's a learning level. It's trying to figure out what's going on. So, oh. <laughs> so says you. So now we're going to start putting some of these things together. So now we've got the way to companion cubes, falling objects, buttons, and we can control at least half the portal. Sadly, those guys are not heavy enough to uh, hit the cube. All right, so you notice a lot of these buttons will have dotted lines that'll tell you where they go. Again, we're not at the point where we can control both portals. But, uh, let's take care of it. It's destroyed. All right. That, uh, green light means that I have actually already done this one. But just for the sake of showing everything on air... Oh, bother. Where was this? Oh. There we go. One of these days I'm going to have to look up the Morse code because my Morse code's kind of rusty. And I'm curious what the end message is. Um, since I haven't finished the achievement. Excellent work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Entirely on your own, you say.
Trying to keep an eye on time here. So here we are, we've made it to chamber five. So this is where I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. And this is where I'm also going to say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to go. And if you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, help the channel out. Follow along in Twitch and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when I go live on Twitch and when new episodes and other content get posted to YouTube. So live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.